What would we as a society do without data? Whether it's about demographic change, a new treatment's health risks, a target market's cravings, or the latest fake news, data and statistics are the key ingredients for scientific advancement, entrepreneurial endeavors, democratic discourse, and policymaking. Data allows for informed decision-making in a complex world. But dealing with data is hard. Can you always tell fact from fiction? Or fact from emotion? Or sound generalization and categorization from manipulation and exaggeration? Can you still trust data? It may be the job of statisticians and data scientists to collect, process, and provide data, but only if society as a whole maintains a healthy handle on data does it stand a chance to thrive and survive. This is what the Unlocking the Power of Data initiative is about. Led by the Swiss Confederation and inspired by Swedish data literacy pioneers Hans, Ola, and Anna Rosling, its goal is to ensure that discussions are conducted and decisions are made based on facts. How? By promoting data literacy and a fact-based worldview across the population. By bridging the gap between the statistics and data community and everyone else and by helping specific data ecosystems advance and improve. But what does the Unlocking the Power of Data initiative, in fact, do? Right now, there are six areas of focus, so-called work streams. One, data literacy. Dealing with statistical information does not come naturally for human beings. The first work stream aims at improving everyone's ability to understand data and at making data more accessible. Two, financing data. Data is the new gold, but unearthing and refining it doesn't come cheap, which is why the second work stream advocates the appropriate allocation of financial resources to this process. Three, data management. If something has to go well, you need someone in charge. That is why the third work stream promotes assigning so-called data management in the public sector, an already common role in large private organizations. Four, data science. The initiative's fourth work stream aims to encourage members of the public sector to get acquainted with the basics of the ever-evolving science of data, because only those who know how to use data as a resource can unleash its full potential. Five, population projections and climate change. Population development and climate change are both hot topics in research, but so far, most studies focus on just one causal direction, whereas the other one, how climate change will affect demography, is mostly neglected. The fifth work stream focuses on changing this. Six, health data. Finally, the sixth work stream is about partnering with the World Health Organization in order to further develop a robust healthcare ecosystem. Because who knows what's next? There is often a gap between what we think we know and the facts as they are. To close this gap, the initiative brings the data nerds closer to the data users, policymakers, the media, civil society, and maybe you for better decisions and a better future. This is what the Unlocking the Power of Data Initiative stands for.